be in a beautiful year imitating the shaman's magic tent. And as we gather here today in order to launch a very unusual project that is taking the form of a book. And actually the word launch, I don't know about launch, it sounds like you're trying to shove a ship off into the ocean or something. But that's the word that people use. I'd rather present this today as a giveaway. You know the giveaway, the ceremony that indigenous people had in North America, where instead of deceiving the gay, the notion was that what is mine is actually yours, not what is yours I'll take. So this is a giveaway today. It's a giveaway of a very wild idea. A wild idea that was so strong that I had to actually surrender to it and say, all right, I'll try and write it down. I gave myself 72 hours to see if a book wanted to be written. And nine weeks later, I had one done. And then the real heart would begin, get it out. But today, we're starting with the introduction of this book to the world. And I really want to thank all of you for coming along. So I'd like to begin from the introduction to a few pages. Each chapter, each section, I start with a quote. Some person who I really believe in, some hero who said something that really has touched me, someone who can help set the theme for what is going on in the following section. The introduction begins with a quote from a song. Some of you might remember this. If you don't know it, you should know it. There's something happening here. I turned 19 in 1967 exactly when, for what it's worth, became an anthem for those times. The feeling that something mysterious was happening had already become clear to many of us. The song's eerie and poignant sound, coupled with its reflective home truths, articulated a perception that hung in the collective zeitgeist. Personally, this feeling had been present my entire life as a deep, droning undercurrent. My earliest memories are of a profound, reverberating sound coming from beneath and also beyond the vast landscape of earth and sky. It was like a giant engine coming closer from a far distant place. What this was or where it was coming from was a mystery, yet it was there, and it was coming this way. Over the years, it grew louder and closer. By the late 60s, it was obvious that an escalation of great cultural, social, and technological change was in process. By the 70s, it was well and truly out of control. A decade later, the countdown was on, and the rush towards an event horizon of singularity had been named it was even beginning to be described. Today, 20 years further along this exponential trajectory, and we find it in our faces. My attention to the tracking of this metaphysical sound, with this feeling of novelty and purpose, became the subtext of my life and career. It has led me on a journey of surprises and delight, extreme tensions and pain, insights and purpose. Ultimately, it was a sacred quest, revealing a simple yet paradoxical <coughs> response to the complexities and confusions of our times. My service to this quest becomes now to report upon this convergence of possibilities that we are engaged in and, by doing so, to offer a focal point. A view to how humanity finds itself now encountering an event horizon of unity through diversity as members of a rapidly evolving sentient consciousness. Simply stated, we are all singularia. Singularia are nouns that have no plural form, yet <coughs> they are uncountable. Examples of singularity would be information, humanity, consciousness, classes, all singular items, but uncountable. And we are all dense, complex expressions of conscious energy, will, and purpose that, from a neurological point of view, can be seen as each a universe unto itself. 
The importance and significance of this fact of the evolution of consciousness within the cosmos can be crucial to our understanding of the unprecedented events taking place in our times. We are all our own individual event horizon approaching a singularity crossroads. The thesis of this book is a response to the classical enigma that the world is not only stranger than we suppose, it's stranger than we can suppose.